got up this morning. Oh, just got a chunk of snow down my neck. Sunday morning. May 10th. Just beautiful. Snow on the pines. And everything else. I got my generator running back in the background there, charging up the batteries. Didn't expect this. No uh, finding mushrooms today. Sure is beautiful though. The only noise is that generator running. Well, Charlie took me to his favorite morel hot spot here near Arcadia, Michigan. I have to talk in a hushed tone so I don't scare the elusive morels off. And so far they're pretty elusive. A little white, uh, I think they're trillium flowers though. <laughs> they're all over the place. But this is a top secret spot. Right after we pulled in, two other cars pulled in, so we'll see who comes up with the mushrooms first. Charlie, uh, Charlie's off over to my right over there somewhere. I haven't uh, heard him scream yet, so evidently no luck either. So wish us well. Well, there's the top secret spot. Let's see what Charlie has to say for this. Hey Charlie, what happened to your top secret spot? Somebody squealed on us. <laughs> and got them all before we got here? Jesus, but it's perfect. It's perfect conditions. That's what I'm thinking. Said the, our research says the ground temperature has to be uh, in the uh, low to mid 50s. Uh, sunny days, uh, followed uh, rain followed by a couple sunny days and they should pop. Well, this is it. We've had uh, two days of rain. The weather today's in the mid 70s. Yeah. Just gorgeous. And I think before this, it's but just been too cold with the snow and the... so maybe we're just a little too early yet. We're gonna go back down around this way to one other spot I want to check. Okay. It's more remote than this one. And you've been up here all your life, so you should know this stuff, right? <laughs> where, where, where did your brother say we could buy some? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably Colvis Market. <laughs> okay. Well, here's the result, result of our uh, uh, big mushroom hunt. Uh, have, well, actually, I have to confess. Charlie's uh, cousin gave them to us. He felt so bad for us. <laughs> but they claim it's been a bad year. Uh, so we're going to sample these guys tonight and see what they taste like. Okay, we're on day two of our big morel hunt here in uh, Mesick, Michigan. Today we're on Keith's property. We've gotten reports that the big boys are hiding out by the green pole barn. So we're on our way up there. We're trying to maintain a little bit of quiet so we don't alarm them and get them into an agitated state. Uh, so, some lovely scenery along the way. Check out these little little guys. Little red flowers on top of the moss. Anyway, before we got to the pole barn, I thought I'd check out the wooded area. No luck so far. Keep your fingers crossed. Okay, found the uh, the green pole barn and the field. Just about covered it all. 
struck out again. Did uh, did run up a uh, big uh, cottontail rabbit, so maybe he's the culprit eating all the uh, morels. He was a big boy. Yeah, continuing continuing my quest. Sooner or later, I gotta find one. Another look at the Mayflower. I think the official name is a Trillium. But they're all over the place in the lower boggy areas. It's a good indication of when the mushrooms are in. Except for this year, I think. Anyway, on with the hunt. Well, on the way back home, I found the uh, the bear tracks. Pretty good sized bear, it looks like. So in keeping with my uh, bear policy, they stay away from me, I'll stay away from them. I decided that was the end of the uh, morel trek for today. <laughs> Off with the third day of morel mushroom hunting. Uh, thought I'd come to a different area of Keith, Keith's property of some fields today, see how we're doing. The other day, when we were coming back, when I was coming back from uh, hunting around the pole barn, the green pole barn, uh, noticed some tracks in the sand, some good size uh, uh, bear track. Uh, so I'm a little better armed today <laughs> going out. I felt a little. Uh, uh, vulnerable with uh, just a knife on me. Uh, so far, so good. Uh, I tell you, this mu mushroom hunting is a little uh, risky, especially for the results. The, we, the mushrooms that were given to us, we uh, cooked up the other day and they were, they were delicious. Uh, washed them in some salt water real quick, um, sliced them in half, uh, put up, cooked them on a griddle with uh, some butter, I floured them, um, some garlic salt, a couple minutes on each side, just put them out on a plate and, and we enjoyed them. They were very good, uh, as, as few, few as we had, but uh, we'll see what we can do today. Beautiful day out here. It's like, it started out overcast, but uh, now it's actually getting warm, uh, like mid-70s warm. So, let's see, with that sun out, it's... Uh, it's beating down pretty good. Well, so I'll try some of the hillsides and see if we can find something. I'm beginning to think this this year is going to be a bust, but because of all the the cold weather and the snow, but we'll see. Well, no mushrooms, but Keith uh, smoked a brisket over the, overnight, so we're going to have that today. Hi, Larry. Hey, Sheila. <laughs> So we have some briskets and smoked beans today, and Sheila did what, a salad? Potato salad well, and broccoli you know, coleslaw and brownies. Oh, we're going to eat good today. <laughs> as soon as Charlie gets here, where's Charlie? So much for mushroom hunting. <laughs> 